Hello guys and welcome to another interesting episode of Madrid, my DNA, the home of everything Madridistas, as we discuss you through Real Madrid's latest and important update. Kickstarting with today's agenda, Real Madrid won the kit at scores on his first La Liga start for Real Madrid, giving the Merengues a 1-0 lead against Real Sociedad. The goal, however, turned out to be the match-winning goal as the Merengues sealed out a 1-0 win over the Basque club. We are going to be bringing you a full update on that in this episode as we progress and shortly after that we will quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as Barcelona icon Ivan Rakitic invites Real Madrid veteran man Luka Modric to join him in Saudi Arabia should he be considering an exit from the club this summer. We will also be bringing you a full update on that in this episode as we progress. So please, stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss on our daily Real Madrid update. Coming off an incredible, successful week, with wins against Manchester City in the Champions League and then over Barcelona in La Liga, Real Madrid have caught momentum at the right time of the season once again. They are flying high towards the La Liga title and they needed just three wins to confirm the La Liga heading into their game against Real Sociedad last night. Carlo Ancelotti eventually made nine changes on the night in the starting 11 from the team that took on Barcelona including start to Edel Militao and Ava Goulet. That bet eventually paid off as half an hour into the game last night, young star Adagule scored his second ever goal in La Liga on his maiden league start for Madrid. Aurelien Chouameni found Vani Cavajal running up on the right wing, who then played an excellent first-time low cross into the box that evaded two defenders before falling into the feet of Adagule on the left side. The Turkish international made no mistake slotting the ball into the bottom right corner with his first touch and ran off to the corner flag to celebrate. The goals called just half an hour into the game eventually proved to be the match winner for Real Madrid as they now hold a firm 14 points lead ahead of Barcelona's clash against Valencia also with Girona set to play this weekend. Azagule eventually won the Man of the Match award on the night, showing off his incredible skills and giving the manager something to think about when it comes to starting him and giving him more game time as he has not been shot or even shy to prove his worth when he has been given the chance this season to do so. With an eye on Tuesday UEFA Champions League clash, Carlo Ancelotti decided to make 9 changes into his squad starting the likes of Ceballos, Militao, Goulet and others. Only Chouameni and Luka Modric started on the night who also took part in the game against Barcelona. Real Madrid will be looking to win the La Liga title against Cadiz next weekend should Barcelona fail to beat Valencia when the two face off on Monday night. So it is left to be seen how the La Liga title pans out at the end of the season. Having discussed and concluded with that, we are going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as FC Barcelona icon invites Real Madrid veteran to join him in Saudi Arabia, report claim. Luka Modric's future has been an ongoing topic of discussion in Madrid for a long time now. At the age of 38, many in their administration feel his continuity will do more harm than good for the team's transition. Others, however, value Modric's experience and maintain that Carlo Ancelotti is not going to find any better players to call off the bench in high-pressure situations and that his continuity for one more year is deserved. The player's heart lies in Madrid and he does not see a move away with good eyes as he wishes to contribute to Los Blancos' legacy as long as he has the magic left in his boot. With his contract running out on June 30th and Real Madrid still vacillating 
over his future. However, Modric has attracted interest from clubs including his childhood club Dynamo Zagreb in Russia, the MLS and the Saudi Pro League. Speaking in an interview with Mundo Deportivo, Luka Modric's former international teammate and Barcelona legend Ivan Rakitic invited the Real Madrid star to join him in Saudi Arabia and warned him against joining an opposite side. If you come to Saudi Arabia but don't come to Al Shabaab, you are going to have some problems with me, Rakitic said, leaning toward Modric's move to Saudi Arabia. Elaborating on what Modric's move to Saudi Arabia would mean for the country and the league, he said, if he decides to move, it would be fantastic. I would call him and try to do everything possible for Al Shabaab, for Saudi Arabia, to bring him to the Saudi Pro League or give him all the information he may need. Finally, Rakitic did not rule out the veteran's continuity in Madrid for another season, saying, If he decides to stay in Madrid for one more year, I think that enjoying Luka Modric at the highest level would also be fantastic, the veteran concluded. With some various news outlets, already speculating a departure for Luka Modric in the transfer summer. However, the player himself is keen on staying at Madrid, as reports even emerged last week claiming that the veteran midfielder has already accepted his role at Real Madrid. The report stated that Luka Modric already understands that he cannot run for 90 minutes and if the manager brings him on on the final stages of the game, or when experience is needed, the veteran will be pleased and happy to help the team. Also, the report also claimed that Luka Modric wants to help and ensure that the young stars at Real Madrid grow in a conducive environment. His work in the team is more of guiding the young stars towards a very big future, something that he and a veteran counterpart Tony Kroos have been doing all season long till date. Although Carlo Ancelotti has chosen Cruz largely over Modric when it comes to game time at Real Madrid, the veteran has come to terms with that and has still decided to stay. So I haven't discussed and concluded with that we have come to the end of this interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel, turn on notification bells, so you do not miss on our daily Real Madrid update. See you next time and a very big Hala Madrid to us all.